Hello everyone, I'm Scott Davis and I have the pleasure of speaking to you in my first President's Message. Last month I was elected to the role of Federal President and I am honoured to receive the confidence of my colleagues of the former Federal Council to undertake this important role. As I speak to you, we are on the cusp of a new year with a new constitution and a new governance structure. We now have a board of seven replacing the old Federal Council of 18 and it's my dream team. Experienced, diverse skill sets and keen to get on with it. These changes in the people involved will facilitate nimble leadership. Another plus of the new structure is that it's more cost effective and sustainable with a more than 50% reduction in travel and related costs. With more virtual meetings, we will not only reduce flight time, but also encourage members from anywhere in Australia to participate. We intend continuing to work on the project started by the previous council and executive, led by the immediate past president, Dr. Stephen Liu. Stephen's performance was stellar and appreciated far and wide. We wish him well in all his future endeavors. Of course, there will be new projects and new activities planned for 2024 and beyond. The recently released Senate Select Committee report on dental services provides us with new opportunities to lobby government for structured, sensible strategies which allow all Australians to access dental care. Our document, The Australian Dental Health Plan Achieving Optimal Health, has been central to our position with government discussions. Funding what I call safety nets for the most disadvantaged in our society, or those who have limited access to providers like those in residential aid care, needs to be addressed now. Our proposed Seniors Dental Health Scheme is ready to go. It just requires minor legislative change and a will by government to take the health of older Australians seriously. I will continue to lead the ADA team on new constructive discussions with the TGA on what is appropriate regulatory oversight which does not burden the profession with either excessive paperwork or costs, which as we know gets passed on as increased fees to our patients. And of course, no one wants that. I will have been a dentist for 40 years next year and have spent almost all of that time self-employed. So I appreciate the challenges of small private dental practices and the third parties who have undermined a level playing field. One continued focus will be to argue through the ACCC and others that vertical integration of health insurers is unfair and uncompetitive, especially when they pay their contracted dentists higher rebates than everyone else. It should be one service, one rebate. The members of those funds deserve fair treatment and should not be discriminated against. Yes, there will be a lot to do next year and beyond. However, I believe we're up to the challenge. One thing I know will get your year off to a great start or in the current year well is to register for the recent World Dental Congress's new on-demand platform. It contains 220 hours of the sessions from the biggest dental event ever held in Australia and offers you a fantastic value and opportunity to fulfill your CPD obligations. If you attended the Congress then you will have already received information on accessing the platform but if you weren't able to make it to the event Here's your opportunity as an ADA member to see world-class presentations from some of the best in the business. The range of topics is impressive. As an attendee who couldn't make it to everything, I'm excited by what I'll be able to watch through the platform in the months ahead. Until next time, wishing you a Merry Christmas and an enjoyable summer break.